we live in a 1960s colonial farmhouse. And it's one of my goals to decorate our home with the European inspired farmhouse theme. And now it can be a difficult task trying to find pieces that are unique and add to the atmosphere of your home. And antiques can oftentimes be very expensive. So one of the ways I have sourced items is through thrifting. So today I'm gonna to be sharing three items that I look for when I am thrift shopping. So number one is ironstone. Ironstone is an earthenware pottery that was made in the 19th century in the United Kingdom. There are many different manufacturers of ironstone. The most common that I come across where I live in Canada is Staffordshire. So when I'm going to the thrift store, I head down the aisle where I find the plates and the cups and the teapots and that sort of thing. And I look for what ironstone is. Now at first, you're probably not gonna know what to look for, but as you get used to it, your eye will be trained. The one thing that you can do that will help you find it is if you come to a plate and you think it's ironstone, you can just flip it over and on the bottom it will say ironstone, made in England or hand engraved or something like that and then you know you have some genuine ironstone. If it doesn't have any chips on it, you are gonna to wanna to add that to your collection. Ironstone is great for decor purposes but also for table settings. Our family loves to use it for special dinners. I have a mismatched collection of brown hues and blue tones and it actually corresponds really well together. I like to do blue, brown, blue, brown and the kids like it that their plates have pictures on them and they're unique. So that is just one affordable way to add antiques into your everyday life. The second item that I look for when I'm thrifting is vintage linens. Now we live in a day and age where there are synthetic fabrics everywhere. Polyesters, blends, that sort of thing. When I'm thrifting, I'm looking for natural fibers. So fabrics that are made out of linen, which is from flax, 100% cotton, and silk. So those are the linens that I'm looking for. I'll check out the aprons, the tea towels, the tablecloths, the pillowcases, and that sort of thing. Sometimes you can find some beautiful pillowcases with hand stitching or lace. A few years ago, I found actually a tablecloth that was 100% linen and it had beautiful hand stitching on it. And that has served our family when we are having fancy dinners. And it's also a piece that I know that is going to continue to be beautiful. And as linen gets softer and whiter as it ages. The third thing that I look for when I am thrifting is vintage art. So oil paintings, watercolors, charcoals. When you're looking for oil paintings, it can be difficult at first, but if you look for the surface texture, you're going to see that it has a rippled edge. You'll start to be able to recognize it. Oil paintings are great because they feature those warm hues that pop really great. I like to paint my walls with Benjamin Moore Simply White, and when you put an oil painting in front of that, it really pops and it makes your room very warm and inviting. Watercolors are fun in bathrooms and in kids' bedrooms and they create more of this whimsical, imaginative feel. And charcoal drawings are beautiful, especially if you compare them with a vintage frame on accent walls or in hallways. So those are three things that I look for every time I thrift. That's not my entire list. And if you like this video, then I can make another video on other things that I look for when I'm thrifting. I do have a detailed post that goes more into what you're looking for in these items on my blog. The, the link is in the description below. I make one new video every week on simple living through gardening, homesteading, and home decor. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for stopping by a seasonal abode.